Okay, so I just want to show you my Canon uh, binoculars, very, very nice binoculars, image stabilizer 10 by 30 IS. Beautiful, very, very expensive. And uh, I've had these a few years now, probably best part of 10 years. Um, and uh, a few years ago, probably about four or five years ago, this rubber here, the coating, went very sticky and it was just ghastly. And I had a massive uh, argument with um, Canon um, because I've, I've said that this is um, uh, a fault with the material. It's not uh, wear and tear or anything like that. And so if you've had sticky um, rubberized components, then um, it's well worth taking it up with Canon. They will argue like mad, they will refuse to do it, they'll say it's out of warranty. My argument, of course, it wasn't in warranty about, it's not a warranty an issue, it's an issue about the quality of materials. Anyway, they did do it and they did it free um, after much fighting, and that's something I suggest you do. Anyway, I just noticed I've got them out again, I hardly use them, they're, caught, they're kept in a dark place, stored correctly in the bag, and so, you know, that's the way it is. But here we go. Now, I've just taken that. This is as sticky as hell. Now, my finger is clean here. If you can see my clean finger. And I just have to use it. And you can see my finger getting black because it's just sticky, mucky, horrible stuff. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it come off. It's absolutely appalling. So now I'm going to... I'm not going to fight the battle again just for this because the, the coating here is okay but i am going to have to remove this uh, rubberized component rubbish look at my finger you know so it makes it unusable when it's like this and they're damn expensive so um do complain to canon and uh, respond to my uh, website um you know the more fuss we make the better okie dokie bye Okay, it's me again, and uh, I've cleaned the wheel on my Canon binoculars. Um, bit of a pain, to say the least. It's taken me about half an hour. It's ridiculous just to do this little thing. Um, at least it's not very sticky now. It's a little bit sticky, but not uh, hardly nothing. And, and uh, you know, look, no black rubber coming off. Instead, the rubber came off. I use that little um, toothbrush actually. Um, this is the product I used, uh, isop isopropyl alcohol. Oh, alcohol, totally good. Need it after buying one of the pair, pair of Canon binoculars. Um, so uh, yeah, use that, that, and obviously, you know, you just um, pull it off slowly. Uh, what I did is, but, oh, be careful not to get that um, alcohol stuff onto the rest of the binoculars otherwise it's going to obviously peel off the rubber on the bit that you don't want so very carefully um got my little um ear thing ear pad whatever it is um and uh, dipped it in uh wiped it without getting it on the edge here um just being very careful actually and then slowly but surely you know just getting it off with that and, and it's worked so that sort of that i wouldn't fancy doing the whole Thinking binoculars, look at the size of them. That would just take hours and hours and hours. Anyway, at least a solution for a minor problem uh, there. But um, when you buy uh, your binoculars from uh, the dealer, ask them if it's got rubber coating. And if it's got rubber coating, say, well, will you send it back to the manufacturers? Just ask them to strip it off before I buy it. Because it's a bloody pain in the backside, this. Okay, okay, bye. Oh, it's me again. Uh, just uh, another word of warning. Uh, don't let her indoors catch you uh, cleaning your Canon binoculars on her best um, kitchen work surface because uh, she gets very upset. Oh dear.